Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Table of Tales, The Crooked Crown, which is a new game. It's on Steam. Uh, it comes out in about five days. And full disclosure, I did receive my copy of the game for free. So we're going to start a new adventure. Experience this uh, intended way to play Table of Tales. We'll play Balanced. We'll play the intended way to play Table of Tales because that is the intended way. No voice acting? Okay. Hey, little magpie. Not so little now, I guess, if you're reading this. It's been a long time. I'm sorry I didn't get to see you again before. Well, you're grown up now. Before I died, the solicitor just wanted me to list this with the other items, but I knew you'd appreciate something more personal. Besides, I left you something special. You'll find it in the attic. Look for the key. You'll figure it out. Uh, all right. Oh, oh hello there. Oh, there is voice acting. Oh. My, feels like I've been asleep for years. <laughs> oh. What's going on here? I suppose you're wondering what this is all about. Kind of. I remember your aunt being just as surprised. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Arbitrix. Like the I arbitrator. Am the master of the table. And a prodigious teller of tales. Excellent. And you, my friend, are about to embark upon quite the adventure. Fantastic. I hope you're ready. I'm totally ready. Let's get into it. The storm came out of nowhere. The ship is on its way back to the biggest port in the Crown's Islands. Its voyage has been a success. The substantial treasure on deck was... Let's say, acquired by four scoundrels who hired the ship for their venture. Who are they, you ask? Pick them up and see for yourself. Uh, okay. It's quite loud. It's quite loud. I'm just going to turn it down in my earballs. Is Hammer, a violent thug who's really good at solving problems with her ironclad fist. Nice. That's a terrible name. This one calls herself Luna. Don't ask where she got her heretical and very illegal powers of dark sorcery. Okay. Thomas Turlinger, the apothecary. A genius of experimental potions with a rather questionable clientele. Sure. <laughs> the crew aren't happy. They bewitch the captain, yells first mate Barnabas. And brought this storm upon us. Right? We must take the ship for ourselves. <laughs> this is a mutiny. A band of heroes who try and talk the crew around, but these are scoundrels. The best way they know to end a mutiny is to put it down. All right, let's do it. Yes. Each turn, you must spend all your yellow power pits to move, attack, or rest in order to defeat your foes. All right. Move your scoundrel next to a foe. If you move too far, you'll begin to expend their power pits. All right. Oh. Play this card on a foe within range to expend power pits and attack. I kind of want to... Oh, there we go. We'll, we'll focus fire, I guess. There we go. Focus fire. Good. Um, steel fist. Nice. Oh, what's going on here? She can't get there. What is what is going on? All right. Um. And then she does some damage to him. Nice. Oh, it's getting harder. Love it. 
Oh, these guys still have more things to do, I guess. Oop. Nope. Alright, and... I don't, I don't... Oh my god, what are, what is going on here? I'm trying to do the thing. She can't move. Okay, that's fine. She can't move. Whatever. Oh my god. Alright, so the UI is not perfect. So, did one of my guys die, or? Not quite. Alright. Move him up here. Oh, booster shot. Nice. Yeah, knock him back. Good. And then you can heal up a little bit more. Sure. How about you just go there? Yeah, get wrecked. Oh, there's another one that popped up. That's kind of rude. It's not who I want. I want this one. Alright, and then she can... Slasher. Slasher and smasher. Oh my god, stop that! I don't like that you keep coming up. It's very annoying. There we go, goodbye. And she can just heal, I guess. So now they're moving around. Yeah, he takes a bit of damage. No one's died yet. Oh, he nearly died. That's bad. Um, there we go. Sure. So I'm just killing this the whole crew, I guess. Seems reasonable. So now they're on the other side though, so um Knocked him back. Excellent. Alright, so then she can Uh, move here, and then, nope, move there, she can't quite do it, so she'll just, uh, heal, she'll just heal, good, yeah, it's fine, absolutely fine. Boom! Didn't quite kill him. Right, and then... Nice. And then we kill this guy as well. I'll put this guy over here. And, oh. No. We'll just heal, I guess. Alright, we're waiting for that guy to go now. Oh, we shot two people. I guess that happens sometimes. Alright, and 
angels will need to pitch in if they want any hope of surviving this storm. Try to choose the best scoundrel for each task. The more stars they contribute, the better. Place them on the skill checks and see for yourself. Uh, okay. The rope is about to snap. Better get someone smart to tie a better knot. So who's smart? So that's the wizard. The captain has abandoned the wheel. Someone strong needs to steer the ship. Oh my god. I don't I don't know, man. I don't know what we're I don't know. Frost is waving that pistol around with a mad gleam in her eye. Someone needs to talk sense to her. The mast is creaking ominously. Someone fast. Needs to climb the rigging and trim those sails. So I need to. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing here. This is. This is not working. I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm. Sh I'm sure it's. Okay. There we go, steer the boat straight. So we're rolling some dice. They strain against the wheel and manage to hold on, steering clear of the worst of the storm. Nice. And then the rabbit goes back into his hole. Yes, they did it. The cannon's not going anywhere. So that could have been a little bit clearer, but that's fine. Sorry, we had we had to murder your entire crew. It just happens. Sure. Something was influencing her. Something in the storm. But there's no time to worry about that. So she just killed herself. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. That seems incredibly rude, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, oh. So. How do we. Oh. Sure. Mourn or celebrate. You've survived, but your ship's badly damaged, and you're not alone. I got an achievement called Horatio No Lives because that's who I threw over the thrice blessed. Sure, I'm ready. Oh, how do we, how do we prepare to be boarded? I don't, I don't understand what we're doing. Why is the view so bad? A little, I, I, I don't. Fire the cannon. Must have hurt. The cannon's blasted away one of the orcs. 
Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't know what we're doing. Okay. This, this view is very hard to see anything. Oh my god. I hate that window. So why, why can't I, what the, the hell? Ugh! Now the games won't let me interact with anything. Oh, how did I do that? Space bar. Okay, that would have been nice to know, but now I still can't interact with anything on the board. So space bar takes us there, which is useful. Uh, but the game is, is frozen. I'm clicking all the buttons. Spacebar is the only thing that does anything. Um, yeah. No. Alright, well, I guess we're going to go look at the description. Uh, because the game won't let me interact with anything. That is unfortunate. Luckily, it's still got time to come out. Because I was, I was really enjoying it right up until that point. So, let's go look at the description. Alright. Uh, Table of Tales, The Crooked Crown. Table of Tales, The Crooked Crown is a role-playing adventure that brings the tabletop gaming to life in a virtual reality. Um, and I pause that because I want you guys to be able to see this. When they put their key in, look. They put their key in. And, uh... It actually goes into the thing. Mine did not go in. So there's obviously there's clearly still some bugs and stuff to be worked out. I really like it. It reminds me of Hand of Fate. It's got that same sort of vibe. It's, you know, being told a story and then you and then you get to make decisions in the story. Um, and you know, there's some tactical combat and things like that. It's very cool. Very, very cool. I like it. Um, I just kind of uh, yeah, I wish it. I wish that the views weren't so hard to work on, and also that uh, the clicking on the dudes didn't always bring up that window that brought up their stats. There should be like a clearer way to do that. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of information about how to do things. I guess it's supposed to be uh, intuitive, um, but it doesn't actually feel that intuitive. I do like that moving. Uh, the moving board thing as it collapses underneath the table. It's very cool. Um, embark on a narrative-driven campaign featuring fully voiced Dungeon Master Companion who appears as a mechanical talking bird arbitrix. Guide a party of four scoundrels through a captivating story that is shaped by important world-changing choices. No one playthrough is the same. Uh, battle, charm, or sneak your way through more than 24 and all encounters. Tactical turn-based combat and encounters feature dice, cards, skill checks, and over 40 different types of enemy. Each scoundrel has their own skill and stat upgrade path. Choose different abilities each time you play. The magical table transforms before your eyes. You really need to see it to believe it. Uh, inspired by the nostalgia of classic tabletop games and built by the team that brought you the Warlock of Firetop Mountain, the Fighting Fantasy series, and Warhammer Underworlds online. Cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, I do like it, uh, but it's still a bit unpolished. So we've got Tin Man Games. So this is Tin Man Games. So they've got a few. They got a few games. Curse of the Assassin. Oh, are these? Um, yeah, it's the, it's the old. Uh, I I have them. I I actually have these. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming back. It's these ones. Check it out. It's all these books. See? They uh. Choose your own adventure books. They look like that. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got. Uh, catacombs of the Undercity and stuff. I, I, I just grabbed some of them. I've got like I've, I've got like a hundred of them. Uh, or whatever the amount is. It's a whole it's a whole wide bookshelf anyway. Um, and I've got them. Uh, they're just over behind me. Um, but that yeah, Warlock of Firetop Mountain is a pretty classic one. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. And I've played Curse of the Assassin for sure. Um, rad. Yeah. That's very cool. Fighting Fantasy Classics. Yep. Does it, does it say fighting? Yeah, Fighting Fantasy right there on the, uh, if you can see it, that says fight, Fighting Fantasy. Um, yeah, so, I, so I've always been a fan of those, um, and I like the vibe here. I like this game. Um, sorry, that's a, that's a huge digression uh, into some of my Choose Your Own Adventure books, which were the, the video games of the 80s. Not really. There were video games in the 80s, but, um, you know, when... Uh, they they weren't as accessible, um, you know. You can open the book and read it, and so I've, I've collected them. I have a lot of them, and I even have like Grail Quest, and I have a few I have a few things like that. So I'm just you know 
waxing lyrical about my collection of Choose Your Own Adventure books. I, I, I'm writing one as well. Um, you know, people do that and twine and all that kind of stuff. So, hey, maybe I'll be releasing a game at some point that you guys can play. And then, uh, you know, someone can eviscerate me for uh, all of the bad things in it. And I'll be like, no, but my game is perfect. So, anyways, I, I got on a huge tangent there. Um, I think I might leave it. That's Table of, Table of Tales, The Crooked Crown. Uh, it comes out on the 15th of September, so if you do want to check it out, uh, go ahead and uh, click on the link in the description, add the game to your wish list, um, get ready for it to come out. Like I said, it is very cool. Um, it's a bit wonky. There's a, it's a little bit unpolished. Uh, I'd like for them to do a little bit more work on some of the things, uh, some of the UI elements especially. Um, but other than that, I, I really liked it. Um, so apparently you can roll dice, but I didn't get to roll dice. They just got rolled for me. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder if I ever get to actually roll them myself. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it, or, you know, dislike the video if you disliked it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want, because that's always nice. And leave me a comment, and I'll try and get back to you. And otherwise, uh, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Class dismissed.